Hey everybody, Jorge Brutzi here. In this video, I wanna teach you how to use an image generation AI service from Leap AI. So basically, um, we're gonna be using Leap, uh, their model here, and it's gonna be using stable diffusion. Um, so basically, you can prompt it and then actually generate an image. And I'll show you how to do that in uh, Node.js and JavaScript. So the app that we're gonna be building is what you see here. So I can prompt it to do something like a uh, dog drinking coffee. And then when I click this generate button, it'll actually call the uh, Leap SDK and it'll actually generate this image on the fly. And even if you use the same prompt, it'll generate different images and that just kind of shows you um, that it's uh, creating it on the fly. So you can hear, uh, see here, uh, dog drinking coffee. So this is kind of this um, finished project, but I will go through step-by-step step, um, to show you how to do this with uh, vanilla JavaScript and then uh, Node.js on the back end. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get started. All right, so now that we've seen what the app can do, it's time to get into the code and understand exactly how to build this. Um, so the main three uh, packages we're gonna be using is the Leap SDK. So the first uh, line you see up here, we're gonna be using Express.js, and that's to actually uh, create our routes and to have our, basically our back end that will be um, doing some of our logic and actually uh, posting an API and sending that information to the front. And then .env is just for our envi environmental variable file. Um, so basically to start your app, um, all of these instructions are actually in the README. Uh, so I'll show you that uh, right now. So basically, if you go to the Leap demo, um, you can see that here. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, you can see just a quick image, and you can see that to run locally, uh, we're going to want to uh, create the end file and then run npm install. Um, so basically, uh, we'll create the end file, and we just want to add in our uh, API key there, um, and I'll go ahead and delete this after the video. Um, and then we just want to uh, create and use our Express app. Um, so first, before we uh, use the Express app, we're going to create that uh, new Leap SDK, um, and then we're going to serve our static or our public um, site. Uh, basically, we're going to serve it using this uh, index HTML and this. Um, express line of code is basically telling our app that we should serve our front end uh, by going to this public directory and then using everything inside of there. So the CSS, uh, the front end JavaScript, and the in index.html. So again, you can see the index here with the title, um, the nav bar, which is just the top little bar, and then um, the, the meat of the app is basically just uh, these two divs. So the uh, prompt div is where you're actually typing in the prompt, and then the actual image container is where the image pops up, and then the spinner, which is gonna be um, basically waiting while we make that request. And then, um, for example, if, let me show you something, what happens um, if the request doesn't work. So I'll start the server, and let's just say I'm using the, uh, you know, a model that the Leap, the Leap uh, SDK doesn't know. Um, if I click generate, it should give me an error, right? Um, but then if I if I revert that, um, it should work now. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically basically this line. Uh, we're using port three thousand. The meat of the app is basically posting this route, which is slash generate. Um, and in this slash generate, this is where we're gonna send our data. So we're gonna call the uh, leap API. So we're gonna um, use public model and then use this uh, dot generate, generate image function that comes with the leap SDK. And basically we're passing in the prompt. And then the prompt is just what we're grabbing from the uh, front end. And you can see that's the uh, request body there. And if we go back to the, um, if we go into our JavaScript, uh, we can see that, uh, where's the prompt? Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, so our prompt input, the value of that is the actual prompt itself. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Um, and then basically once we get that response, uh, we're just parsing the, um, 
we're parsing the response and grabbing that image URL and then just sending it with this res.status.json. So basically this will uh, send the JSON response to the front end and if there's an error, uh, we'll get um, a 400 response. So now let's go to the front end code. Um, so now that we know that we've made a post request on slash generate, we know that our front end should be uh, making or fetching basically that same route, so slash generate. So basically uh, on submit is kind of our main logic. So on submit is when I click that button. So basically in my front end, my index.html, I have that generate button and that's what, um, let me show you what that is. That is, that's this button right here, generate. So basically when I click that button, that is um, this button right here, it's a type of submit. And basically when I click that, um, I have that is when the on submit uh, runs. <clears throat> so basically you can see that um, our image prompt uh, has a listener of submit um, and if we go back to our index uh, we can see that the image prompt is just this form right so basically when this form is submitted uh, that is when we run our on submit uh, listener um, so yeah we added the listener on submit and then on submit that's when we run this uh, so what we do is we first uh, clear the image and uh, we make sure that there's nothing in this uh, message class and then we get the value of the prompt and if there's no prompt we alert the the user and then this is kind of the main function so we start the spinner and this is all in a try catch uh, try catch block we start the spinner as uh, as we're trying to make this fetch request so we're making a post request and we're using the body uh, to make that we're using the prompt uh, to make that request and basically, um, as long as we uh, get that response to that JSON, so you know this is the response. Um, if if we can't uh, get that image, uh, we're going to remove the spinner. Otherwise, uh, we'll grab that image, grab the data, and then this is where we actually display it on the screen. And then once we display it, remove the spinner. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, and then this is in the try catch block, uh, the error. So that's more or less it. Um, so the biggest, the biggest thing to really understand is this uh, slash, slash generate using express, and then basically doing the same thing on the front end, um, doing this fetch to actually fetch that data that we're sending from the back end to the front end. Um, so that's more or less it. So if you want to go ahead and try out the app. Uh, please go ahead and uh, go to this uh, repo and uh, definitely check out uh, Leap. So if you just click on this link, you can check out and their docs and you could um, basically do what I did with the app, but within their uh, site, of course. So this is very similar to like the OpenAI image gen generation as well. And you can see the docs on the side as well. Um, you can use different models as well. Um, of course, if we want to do kind of like augment the app or kind of improve on it, we would um, just be able to kind of like toggle between these different models. And of course you can uh, create your own model too. So if you click on fine tune, uh, I created my own tennis player model and you just kind of uh, train it like that. Click on create model and train it. Um, but yeah, uh, so basically, yeah, this whole uh, app is, is over here. And um, I hope you found this useful and uh, let, me know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much.